This is a story about a woman who lost a coin. A coin. I have 10 quarters and I lost one. One quarter. What is one coin? What is the big deal about losing 25 cents? By itself, it's not that much. And in a society of cash app and Apple Pay and square up and insert the chip, what is a coin? Have you ever had the exact change you needed to get on the bus? Have you ever had the exact change you needed to do a load of laundry? And then you lost one of those coins? <laughs> so maybe this isn't a story for you because this is the story of a poor woman. This is a story about a woman who needs every coin she has and then loses one of those coins. So it's just one coin, but she needs the coin. She needs a coin to do what she needs to do. Or rather, she cannot do her laundry, get on the bus, go to work, see her family, or pay for that meal without that coin. This is a story of someone who makes just enough money to pay the rent, put gas in the car, and pay for groceries, and then discovers a hole in their child's shoe, and then has a medical emergency and no health insurance, or then whose car breaks down. This is a story of a woman with 10 coins who loses one. This is a story of a woman who cannot do what she needs to do without that coin. The woman looking for her coin also sweeps the house. Point two for my Baptist. Yeah. I don't want you to think about a Swiffer wet jet and hardwood floors. <laughs> I want you to think about a first century house with a dirt floor. The act of sweeping all by itself stirs up more dirt and creates dust clouds. And to look for a lost coin while sweeping is to immerse yourself in the dirt and the dust that gets stirred up in your house. And if you are really looking for something you've lost, you're going to stir up some dirt. You're going to stir up the dirt of your family's secrets. You're going to raise issues and past stories that you thought were settled. You are going to unearth some things that you thought that you hoped had been buried. You cannot look for what has been lost without creating a stir. Looking for what's been lost creates a little chaos. It disrupts the status quo. It's not pretty. It's not clean. And Jesus suggests that there's no other way to do it. That if you want to find what you've lost, and if you want to find something that you need, if you want to do the purpose that lies ahead of you, if you want to live out your calling, you will have to sweep the house, stir up some stuff, get dirty, sift through some dust clouds, and address things you didn't even know were there. Have you ever lost something that you need? Of course you have. We all have. We have all lost. We have all lost something we didn't want to lose, something we needed. I'm not talking about losing your keys or your favorite stuffed animal or your lucky charm or that piece of paper I swear I just put on my desk and now I don't see it. I'm talking about losing something you need. To live with a mental health challenge is to lose constantly is to lose your mind, is to lose your sanity, is to lose your sense of being understood, is to lose your sense of place in the world, is to lose your way, is to lose your sense of who you are. You literally do not recognize this person you've become. Living with a mental health challenge is like losing something you desperately need. So I'm a natural researcher, which is why I'm an academic. I like libraries and learning and knowing things and having choices. So when I lose something, <laughs> I try to learn more about it. <laughs> I do an internet search. I ask people I know. I read books. I search. I search desperately to find out what other people have done when they lost what I lost. <laughs> and the only way I can do that is by telling people I've lost something. So yesterday we talked about testimony, and we talked about the power and the radical political act of telling someone else a story of what you've lost. We talked about telling our hardest stories, 
And not just for the sake of hearing ourselves speak, but when we tell our stories, we light the lamp. We shine a light on what we have lost and what we sometimes are still losing. And we learn. We learn that we aren't the only ones who have ever lost that. We learn that we aren't alone. We learn that others have lost and survived. 